Okay, so prime factorization of 20, so 2 and 10, 2 and 5, so this is 2 squared times 5. Um, 175 divisible by 5, that's 325, so that's 5, 5 and 7, so then this is 5 squared times 7. Sorry, my pen is a little glitchy. 200, 2 and 100, 2 and 50, 2 and 25, oops. and then 5 and 5, so 2 cubed and 5 squared. Oh, I did six. Wait. What happened? Oh, they're all misnumbered. Sorry about that. I was doing every other one. I was like, why am I on six? Okay, so I guess we'll just keep going every other one. Uh, two, let's see. Two, six, uh, four, eight, 648. Divided by two is 324. Divide by 2 again, 12, so 6, 162. Divide by 2 again is 81. Divide by 3 is 27. Divide by 3 is 9, and then 3 and 3. So then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 to the 4th, and 3 to the 4th. Okay. Uh, find the missing factor. So I'm going to actually, let's see, I got to do, so if I do this one, 10, okay, I guess I'll do 12 then. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but I know that there's going to be questions about that missing factor. So, but question number nine here is the same thing as question 12. So we'll do it there. Okay. So here I have one P to the fifth R here, but I need two of them. So I need another P to the fifth R. Okay, now here, what you notice is that the x squared is negative on this side, but it's positive on the other side. So if I multiply by negative 1, what that does is it flips my positive and negative. So my missing factor is negative 1. And you could check that by going through and doing distributive property. Okay, ooh, that one's super glitchy. I don't like, I'll have to retype this one. In the future, it's all pixelated. Okay, so let's see. Um, I have a negative sign out here, so I have to have a negative. I have a 2 here, have a 2 there, that's fine. Oh, but wait. A and B, A and B. But I have it to the 4th power here and to the 5th power on this side. So I need one more. Actually, I need one more to A, B in order to get 5 of them. And then here, 5z, so I need a z squared, and I need a 4. I need a negative 2, and I have an r cubed, but I, need, I have an r squared, so I need an r. Uh, 10, so I need a negative 4 to give me negative 40. Q and an r, so I need one more q and two more r's. And that's it for the odd number questions.